Hello, friends. Right now, I'm supposed to be giving you a sermon recap and update of some sort. And I could do that. This week, we talked about fasting. And there were several questions and several people were like, whoa, I didn't realize that. Remember fasting we talked about was um, most people do it, use an instrumental theory of fasting, which means if I fast, God will give me something. Or if I fast, uh, maybe God will hear my prayers. But instead, we talked about the fact that in the Bible, fasting is a response, usually to some grievous event where we get to see God's perspective on those events. And the more we have God's perspective on those events, the more we enter into this relational thing that fasting ultimately ends up being relational between us and God and not just transactional. If I do this, will you give me this? I could do that. I could tell you that. Um, and I could give you an update. I could say, tell you about it. Um, be praying about June 22nd. That's when phase three starts with the Washington state, uh, phase plan. And we've got some things. I don't know if we'll be able to pull them off, but some really cool things we're trying to do. That's when we can meet with 50 or under and uh, things with meeting in people's homes that involve music and maybe even communion. So that's all cool. I could talk to you about that. I thought today, though, we'd go for straight up engagement. You may, may or may not have noticed, but probably about Two weeks ago, I shaved my beard. And since then, my family said, Dad, husband, you look about 10 years younger without your beard. Honestly, I miss it. So the question today is, do you think I look 10 years younger? Ditch the beard or go back to it? That's the question.